It's time for Food to Go, and if you like barbecue, you're watching the right channel. Joining us this morning with all the details is the owner, Charles Etzinger, and manager, Sammy Joe Ongori. Right? Let's, let's, Good let's, morning. I, you Good know, morning. I think it would be inappropriate, but I'd like to bury my face inside of this. <laughs> I have a, like a, a severe si sinus blockage, but I can definitely still smell this. Got jalapenos in there. This corn looks fantastic. So what motivates you? To do what you do um it's our our general love for food but barbecue specifically craft barbecue um the way we cook our food the taste that differs from most other places that's what really um, gives our appeal and what i like about our food as well hometown barbecue so so um you you started this during the pandemic yes that sounds like a huge challenge um, well, people always got to eat. Um, right, luckily, true. the one thing that people did need to do was eat. So that kind <laughs> of, it was a blessing in, a, in, in disguise for us to be able to make food for people. And they came out and they still supported us from, from day one. And we're very thankful. I didn't, th I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about your dishes. Uh, do you, is there a favorite, a most popular kind of thing? What mm -hmm. do you think? Um, number one, definitely, it's always going to be Texas-style brisket. Yeah. Um, everybody likes to eat it. It's very hard to make just from uh, being so time consuming, but that's definitely not everybody's number one favorite. Uh, we're in Hawaii, pork is king, so yeah. um, pork belly or pulled pork, mm -hmm. pork ribs, um, any, any, anything else that people like, we make it. How long, would it, how long does it take to make any of those? Um, brisket, you're looking about 24 hours. Okay. And I smoke yeah, it for about 12 and hold it for a, a really long time to make sure it breaks down and becomes nice and tender. That's the, that's the secret, making it rest and um, allow the juices to redistribute into the meat. Sometimes I think I'm master of the grill and then somebody like you comes into my life and I like, I don't know anything. This looks like it's a very long process. Yes, yes. We try to go low and slow. Ribs take about six hours, pork belly about six hours. Um, our chili takes 24 hours again. You know, you want to make sure all the flavors can get as deep as possible into the meat. And, and you're the manager. Mm -hmm. and said, uh, you've been there since you started? No, only um, maybe about half a year fully on board. How is it? People love this stuff, right? People love it. We yeah. have people all over the world come, and especially guys from Texas. They, they kind of <laughs> give us that, is it really authentic? Then they eat it, and... They just, they just fall in love. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like a taste of home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, that's pretty good. That's actually very interesting. What about, now, one of the most interesting things what you, that I read uh, and we talked about a little bit was you involve everyone, even Kiki. So you're saying your, your, your son, stepson, mm -hmm. contributed to one of your dishes. How did that go? Yeah, I mean, kids are usually the most picky eaters, so we wanted to make sure that adults as well as children can enjoy our food just as much as we do. So we, we took him on and um, asked him, you know, what do you like, what you don't like? Yeah. And eventually he helped us make our barbecue sauce, which is actually an award-winning barbecue sauce now. That's like, so he actually, I mean, you just tweaked the, the recipe until he liked it. Correct. I don't think I've ever heard that before. <laughs> can, I, can I take a cut? <clears throat> of course. See, can you tell me, is there a way to do this, a special way to do this, or? This one, this is a big knife. Straight across this right here. It's that easy, huh? Yep. Let's check it out. As fat as you want it, yep. Boy, that just goes oh. right through like butter. it, right? Should be like butter. Juicy. Wow. Look at that. Look nice. at that. That's beautiful. <clears throat> That's Thank beautiful. You. No Thank wonder you. it's popular. I mean, it's like... It seems like it would melt, melt in my mouth. And that's exactly what we're going for. Yeah, that's yep. the, the, the key. And the cord, is there anything special to that? Um, that's, kind of, well, our sides, we want to have something familiar, but something fusion as far as like Texas goes. So that's going to be like a hurricane furikake corn, butter herbs. We use a spice called sumac to give it a little bit of a tang. Yeah. Um, lots of butter, that's what everybody likes. And then, of course, furikake, just something familiar that is, gives you a little crunch, a little bit of salt. And the pork. Of mm -hmm. course. So it's like it's like any anybody can come and enjoy this. It seems like you mm -hmm. you got people from Texas and, and all over the country. Mm -hmm. Of course, we we have a very diverse population. They love this stuff. All right, that looks great. Thank you very much for coming and sharing that with us. Thank uh, you. Uh, it looks fantastic. I'll try it here in a little bit.